Yo, what is up everyone, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to go over how to install LUTs in Final Cut Pro 10. And the first one I'm going to do is I'm going to go over a couple of websites that I would recommend when it comes to buying LUTs. So the first one right here is Ryan Nagel. This to me is the like the highest recommendation. I would highly, highly recommend uh, you get plugins from this website. Another one is another YouTuber by King Touch Pro. This one is another plugin that I don't I don't personally have um, right now, but I'm probably in the future going to probably go ahead um, and buy this LUT pack. Looks very legit and I trust the person who's selling this. So those are two of the people that I would highly recommend. Uh, I'm sure he's probably going to um, add more LUTs uh, in the future, but those are the two highest recommendation. And the other thing that I've seen is this thing, this ground control LUT. Now, I, I honestly can't give you my personal recommendation on this, but I've seen some people recommend this and it seems like a very legit um, place to buy LUTs. So I would, I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to say I highly recommend this, but this definitely seems like something that you might want to try out and I'm probably going to try out um, eventually uh, in the future. And I'll make sure to put the links down um, in the description below. And if you have any more recommendations for good websites for downloading plugins, go ahead and suggest it down in the comments below. And I will add that link also to the other links in the description below. So the links are going to be down in the description below. And if you have any other recommendations or if I find any new websites that I want to add, I will make sure to update all the links down in the, in the description below. So just in case you have any recommendations or if there's any websites you want me to check out, go ahead and comment down or leave a comment down below. Below. Out, of, out of all the places, out of all the you know places that I've downloaded LUTs, this is highly, this is without a doubt the best place in my opinion to download LUTs. So I'm just going to go ahead. I'll just exit out of this right here, and then because the, this is the main website I want to focus on, so I'm going to go ahead and type in LUT right here, and then just search that right there. As you can see, here are a whole bunch of really cool um, LUTs. So as you can see, some of these cost money, and actually some of these LUTs are completely free. So you can go through and scroll and find the LUT that you want right here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this one right here. So free teal um, and red LUT right here. I'm going to head over here and click download for free right here. And then as you can see right here, I'll wait for it to render. And all you want to do right here is just go ahead and put in your um, personal information. And then as you can see right here, it sends you basically a download link in your email. So if I go over right here, click on view order right here. All you want to do is you want to go over to your email and it will basically just send you a download link to your email. So you can see right here, here's a download link. Let's go ahead and just download this LUT right here. I'm going to go ahead and once the LUT has completely loaded, I'm going to go ahead and just drag it out on my desktop right here. So you can see right here, we'll open for close. And as you can see right here, I'm just going to unzip um the file right here so here's the file or the LUT file um right there so what i'm gonna do right here is just go ahead and just delete the zip file um because i don't need the zip file at all you just need um this file right here so i open open it up right here as you can see here are the different um LUTs right here so i'm going to go ahead and open up final cut pro 10. so i would probably encourage you to just you know close final cut or reset um, Final Cut Pro 10. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to just import the LUTs, uh, the LUTs directly into Final Cut Pro. And no, you don't want to put your LUTs uh, in your Motions Template folder. Now, there may be you know, other ways of doing it, but this is the, the tried and true method that I've used. I'm not saying this is the only way, but as far as I know, there's no other way to install LUTs. So you don't have to put it into your Motions Template folder. It's not like a plugin where, again, you have to put it into your Motions Template folder uh, because, yeah, you just don't have to. So what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to go ahead and just delete this right here as you can see right here here is the before shot um right here i'm going to go ahead over to the effects panel right here go to color scroll down until you find custom lut apply the custom lut effect onto your clip now you need to do this first and actually apply the effect um onto your uh, apply the custom lut effect onto your video no or onto your clip in this case it's just a photo go to right here and then scroll down and choose um, a custom LUT, so select choose custom LUT. As you can see, teal and red right here, and then the two flower LUTs right here. So go ahead, click on choose custom LUT right here. Now we're gonna it's gonna open up right here. Go to your desktop and then find wherever you had the folder. So you can see um, right here. Here's the teal, red, and LUT. And then as you can see right here, it says dot cube, dot cube, dot cube. As far as I know, I don't know if any other extension works, but it's gotta be a dot cube, just like plugins are like dot localized. All all um 
a uh, color grading left you need to have a dot cube again i'm not sure what happens if they don't or if there's other ways of getting around it but as far as i know all the, all the LUTs that i've downloaded have the dot cube extension so you can see here fire 12 um flower 12 flower dot log 12 and then teal and red so what you want to do is you want to select the LUTs right here select all your LUTs select the ones that have the um dot cube extension and then go ahead and just click open right here now, as you can see the item already exists so no i'm not going to replace it this already exists no i'm not going to replace it and no i'm not going to replace it you won't get that message it'll just import directly in but as you can see right here like i already said teal and red flower of uh, 512 flower dot log 12 so here they are right here i've already imported them but that message won't pop up if you don't have them but again it's a really cool feature because let's say you download the let and you forgot you know if that was the let you downloaded before and if you it, it won't it won't allow you to import duplicates which is a really nice feature that i didn't really know um if that would happen i wasn't quite sure if it would allow to um import duplicates and it doesn't which is a great feature just in case you know you for you let's say you have like 200 lots how in the world are you gonna remember exactly if you download that lut well final cut will tell you if you've already pre uh pre or if you've already pre-existingly downloaded which i think is a great feature so that way like i don't end up having like 400 um you know lots and i'm importing duplicates uh it's a really really nice feature and i'm glad final cut has that i just wasn't quite sure if it would you know do that so what you want to do right here is select right here and now go through and select the lot you want so it can, you can choose any single one of them so call to record right here or go ahead and click on teal and red um right there and of course you can go ahead and you'll change the input and the output if you want as far as i know rec 709 is just the basic standard um, so you could change that but as far as i know again as far as i know and what i've heard and what you know just i've done rec 709 is the standard now let's say for example let's choose one that's like really intense let's say that's a, a really really intense lut and let's say okay i don't really want that of an intense lut so so i guess i'll just scrap it not necessarily i can actually go over here to the mix right here and now i can adjust it right here so this is with no lut and this is with a little bit of the lut right here so this is this is at this is at full intensity this is no lut and then let's say right here is the middle so you can basically you know just um, adjust the intensity so if you don't want that super intense you can adjust the mix you can see right here that looks pretty good right there let's see before and after as you can see right there there we go so you can adjust the mix which basically just ad adjust the intensity so if a lot is too in uh, too intense you can go ahead and just um, adjust the mix so you're basically just adjusting the intensity of the LUT Another thing I want to go over is an adjustment layer. I'll go ahead and put the link down in the description below. But as you can see right here, I'll just apply an adjustment layer. Now I've already made videos on it and you'll cover the adjustment layer. Basically, simply, simply an adjustment layer. And if anything that's on the adjustment layer is going to affect everything below the adjustment layer. So if I pl apply a black and white effect on the adjustment layer, this clip is going to be black and white. This clip will be black and white. This clip will be black and white. However, if I take this clip and move it above the adjustment layer, it's no longer going to be black black and white so as you can see right here let's go over here um, go over here to add custom LUT right here add a custom LUT onto the adjustment layer not onto the clips you want to add it onto the adjustment layer and now let's select one right here uh, let's go ahead and click on steel teal right here as you can see there we go that looks I think that looks pretty cool there are definitely you have to remember that there are some that look good with certain colors so let's see how that looks on uh, blue that looks you know okay that's probably a little too intense but as you can see right here, it definitely looks pretty cool but as you can see right here everything that is underneath this adjustment layer is color graded and remember again like I said before every color every lighting it's all going to be different uh, for every single LUT so you can't just slap a LUT to a clip and then have it apply to every single um, clip it's all going to be dependent let's say you know, I want this I'm going to adjust the mix right here and uh, let's see right there that was pretty cool you know, I, I can adjust the blue a little bit right there I think you can adjust the mix and that's pretty much it basically just you want to you will find websites to download LUTs you want to import you want to add the custom LUT effect import the the LUT into this you know section right here and then go ahead apply the LUT and then just adjust um, the mix just so you, know, you don't just to uh, adjust the intensity of the LUT right there now remember one thing to keep in mind 
mind, always color correct before color grading. You can't just take a clip, slap a lot onto it, and call it a day. You have to color grade. You have to go. go I, I already have a video on color grading, but you want to go over here to color and effects. You want to make sure the exposure of the highlights, the shadows, the midtones, the colors, you want to make sure all that stuff is correct. So you want to color correct um, the white balance. You want to color correct first, then you can add a LUT and color grade, and then you probably want to go back just to make sure the, the LUT didn't do anything intense and say the colors but remember you can't just slap a lot onto a video you have to actually color correct it um, first before you just start slapping on a color grid that's just you know a little disclaimer anyways hopefully you enjoyed this video hopefully you found it helpful and informative if new to this channel i upload final cut pro 10 tutorials every day at 10 a.m eastern standard time so if you enjoy these types of videos definitely consider hitting that subscribe button also final cut pro 10 tutorial playlist with over 260 final cut pro 10 tutorials anyways i'll see you in the next one peace Thank you.